hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well um we're still you know in quarantine this little second wave is hitting but i put on some makeup today i finally took out my hair this is the hair from the unicurl um protective style that i did and y'all it looks so good uh, but it's to be one product it looks so good so if you haven't seen that definitely go check that out but as you guys read by the title today we are doing a video about some of my worst products products that i don't like at all products that just seem not to work for me so yeah y'all, let's just hop right into it so before we get started this shirt i got from spiritual world so just in case anybody wanted to know i've had my eye on this shirt forever and for juneteenth they did a huge sale i want to say it was like 80 percent off i want to say so i copped all this stuff and this shirt is one of them and i love it okay so let's get started and jump right into it so the first product that i picked up i have 12 products here so we're really going you know dish what's really good and what's not so the first product i have here is the jane carter solution curls to go curl cocktail conditioning styling cream y'all listen i've had it with these these long names okay because first of all this is trash they should have just called it trash that's what the, you know what so yeah it's 12 ounces um i'm pretty sure i picked this up from marshall's um now listen it says it's for type 3 curly and coily hair um and i understand that it's a styling cream but it also says it has shea butter coconut oil aloe vera tames and controls hard to manage curls girl uh -uh. none of none of this applies now i am maybe about oh, maybe about halfway through i'm about here um it's just not it like there's it's not moisturizing like even um when i have a super moisturizing leave-in under it this doesn't have any hold it doesn't define my girls like it doesn't match with anything girl like it's just not it's, it's it's just not cute like definitely would not repurchase will i finish it of course you guys know i like to get my money's worth so everything that i have here i'm going to finish i'm just not going to like it so yeah would i repurchase no would I suggest it? Absolutely not. Um, I actually have a second product from the Jane Carter's Curls to Go line. And this is the Coiling All Curls Elongating Gel. And it claims to elongate curls, controls frizz, and reduce shrinkage. These are lies, okay? Lies. Okay. So, um, doesn't elongate my hair whatsoever. Whatsoever at all. I also have the match and leave-in. I don't mind the leave-in. It's not my most... Um, moisturizing leave-in but it's okay and it has really good slip um but the moisture isn't isn't that great however this it doesn't reduce shrinkage it doesn't elongate my curls and it doesn't really control frizz now this gel i don't hate the gel i'm about here on the gel and i've used it quite a few times i don't hate the gel the gel just doesn't have like the hold that i need <laughs> so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try the leave-in put this um, styling cream under it and then put the gel on and we're gonna hope for the best. However, I've tried the leave-in in this gel and it flakes and it only lasts for about two days. So it might be that I'm using too much. That very well may be it because it doesn't control my frizz. So I just put more on, but maybe that's it. Maybe that's something I need to try. If you guys wanna see that, let me know. But this gel, um, it's okay. I would not repurchase it though. So my next product, you guys know that I love deep conditioners and I just, I don't know. I just, I, I have a little problem with <laughs> buying deep conditioners at this point. So Shea Moisture, you guys know, is pretty relatively inexpensive and they give you like a good amount of product. So I decided to try this sugarcane extract and metal foam seed silicone free miracle mask with marshmallow root and it's for all hair types and it's 12 ounces. This is what it looks like. It, actually i just picked it up because it's so cute like look at that and i'm pretty sure it's like a dupe for the um i'm pretty sure this is a dupe for something else i don't remember the name if you know what it is um drop it down in the comment section below however this mask um 
I don't I just don't think it's for me I think this is for somebody with like looser curl patterns or no curl pattern at all honey I don't know this just it doesn't seem like it's for um my type of hair my hair is very thick it's very curly and um the moisture just wasn't here now the slip the slip is definitely here the slip is definitely here um if you guys want to see a digging deep series on this i will definitely do it if i don't want to drop it um but it's very um like bouncy and jiggly and stuff i mean it doesn't it's more like a hair product um i don't know the moisture is just not here so i really only use this when i'm about to blow out my hair or straighten my hair which you guys know i don't really do that often so I'll use it up but it's not it's not that good okay next i have eden body works almond marshmallow therapy leave-in conditioner and this is what it looks like it's eight ounces this i wouldn't say it's like a horrible product i don't think this is a leave-in though i think this is a refresher and this is the way that i have been using it so i'm about here um it's it's just okay like it's not my favorite um product period like i wouldn't repurchase it as a leave-in or a refresher so for me um it's just okay i'll use it up using it as a leave-in does not work for me at all it's way too light and um i don't i didn't really like the almond and marshmallow line i did like the deep conditioner and i do have that and use that but at the serum gel situation mm -mm, i don't have time for that then to put another gel on top of that girl uh i need it to be quick and the spray leave-in just didn't pack the punch of moisture that i needed so next while we're still on the topic of refreshers my yell organics disappointed me it's the pomegranate and honey curl refreshing spray and the packaging is just, uh, the packaging is beautiful. However, the product inside, mm, 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 mm. so this is one of those refresher sprays where it has like a cast after you spray it. And that's what I really don't like. When I use my refresher sprays, it's usually when I get up in the morning, I want to do a quick pop, 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 pop. And you know, it wakes up my curls a little bit. This has hold and it leaves a sticky cast when you, you spray. You know how sometimes you get up and you just want to like, you know, just like fluff it out or you got to pick your hair out a little bit again or something. This leaves your hands sticky. It does smell really good, but it leaves your hand very sticky. I am actually maybe about here with it and i'm actually going to fill the rest of it with water and just like shake it up and hope that it dilutes a little bit so it's not as potent so would i repurchase it mm. next we have texture id now i was i really wanted this product because african beauty um kept talking about the texture id styling cream here it is right here this absolutely not first of all it stinks it stinks it stinks it stinks i don't like it at all um it doesn't have moisture like i don't know what she's talking about because for me it doesn't have moisture at all i'm gonna try it with a leave-in Ugh! it just ugh. it just smells like old play-doh like that's what it looks like it's very like clumpy and chunky and Mm -mm. i don't like this at all it stinks i don't know like where to hold is i don't I, I don't know this actually might be a product that i might not finish at all and i might end up giving away because this mm -mm. Mm -mm. don't like that next i have another product from eden body works and it is from the hibiscus honey um collection and it is their blow dry cream now y'all i have tried so hard with this blow dry cream okay um i don't blow dry my hair a lot but i i, I mean i blow dry my hair sometimes and i try to use this product now i'm about right here on a product and y'all i can use the first time i did i used like three pumps because i didn't use a leave-in because it says this is like moisturizing and stuff and you don't need all of that so i use like three pumps per quadrant you guys know i put my hair in fours and it's just it weighed my hair down so much i was like hello like what what is going on here so the next time i did it i used one pump each and a spray leave-in because y'all know 
I'm not about to have my hair parched. But it still weighed my hair down. So I'm just not sure like why this is called a blow dry cream and who this is for because this weighs my hair down and my hair is pretty thick. So I think that I'm going to try and use this up as a leave-in conditioner. Now, I don't know. I think I'm going to try to, to use this as a leave-in conditioner or a styler. Um... I don't know how that's gonna work out. I still have a good bit left, but we're gonna we're gonna finish this. The packaging is nice, but would I repurchase? Mm -mm, absolutely not. So next we have some Cantu. Now you guys know I'm pretty okay with Cantu. Like it's it's all right. But one of the first products I tried from them was the coconut curling cream, and a lot of people rave about the coconut curling cream. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So this is what the product looks like. I'm sure you guys all know what this looks like. It's, you know, almost gone. You guys know I've been working really hard to try and finish up my products. It has that signature Cantu smell. For me, this just doesn't have the moisture. Like, and it claims, it says defines, moisturizes, and strengthens strands. And I definitely agree that it defines my hair and it probably does strengthen my hair because my hair does feel, you know, a little strong after. The moisture, not there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not for me. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use this product up yet. I'm probably, I'm definitely going to have to put a leave-in under it, then use this, and then probably use a gel. But um, what I repurchase, no. What I suggested to other people, still probably, um, because I know it works for so many other people. It just definitely isn't a favorite of mine. So next, moving on to Honey's Handmade. This is from their Summer Textures collection. This is the Juice Slip and Slide Leave-In Hair Lotion. This is what it looks like. And the Juice collection smells so good. Oh my God. It smells so good. Mm. So here is this here, right here. And it's a, it says it's a hair lotion. However, do y'all see that moving? y'all hear that what am i supposed to do with this i know y'all know this what am i supposed to do with that hmm. because the moisture only lasts until i you know am ready to style my hair like the moisture just really is not here and i've been trying to use this in so many different ways i have the entire juice collection i have the entire juice collection and i like the shampoo I like the curling cream, but you know what else I don't like? This gel, this hair gel and edge tamer. First of all, you're lying, honey's handmade. You guys are not, who is this catered to? Because it was not catered to me. Now the gel, it has a little bit, you know, it looks a little thicker. It's still, you know, you guys see that running a little bit. It smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. And as you guys saw, i am really trying to get rid of this now using these two together mm -mm. frizz frizz um this gel not a gel would not say it's a gel at all i don't know what i would call this product i don't know who this product is for exactly um yeah i haven't tried it with the curling cream yet though so i'm going to try the curling cream as a leave-in and then apply this gel and fingers crossed that'll do something however this i'm pretty sure i'm going to end up using as a pre-poo because this at this point is like uh, i don't know i don't even know what to call it but i don't like this at all at all this hair lotion mm -mm. um would not repurchase this hair gel slash edge tamer this doesn't like my Girl, if this can't hold my hair, it's not holding my edges. And that's tea. So next, you guys know I am a fan of the Pantene Gold series. I love that they use Black Scientist to really um, figure out how it works on our hair. However, the product that I did not like from the line at all is the Hydrating Buttercream. And it says it's infused with argan oil for dry, damaged hair. And this is what it looks like. Love the packaging. Really nice. Um, so this product can be used for natural and relaxed hair, right? 
However, the second ingredient is mineral oil. The fourth ingredient is petroleum. Huh? Like, girl, uh-uh. We don't use products like this, and I wish I would have looked at it before I bought it, but I've had it for some time now. So I will probably use it up and just have to, like, really clarify my hair after. I mean, there's some moisture there, but it's just not... Um, the ingredients just don't go in my regimen at this point. So I might end up like donating this or giving it to somebody who might use it. But this is not my favorite product at all. And it's simply based off the ingredients. Okay, you guys, so we are down to our last two products. And I know a lot of people are going to be surprised about this here. And the next product is the As I Am Double Buttercream Rich Daily Moisturizer. And this is what it looks like. Don't judge me. Mine's is a little beat up. Mine's is a little beat up because I've had her for some time. Now, this is almost gone. You can see the, I'm starting to hit the pan in there. This is not my favorite product at all. I've seen um, Sheree De La Soul, Tresses of Alexis, Quinn Ray. There are so many people who love this product. And this for me just, mm -mm. Um, I've had this product since I was transitioning. I know, I know you're not supposed to have products that long. However, I keep my products until they're gone or until they like start to smell or have a different color or, you know, whatever. This still works the same way it did. Now for me, this product worked really well when I was transitioning, but once I got natural, went natural, was fully natural, however you wanna say it, this stopped working for me. And it was very disappointing because this product is pricey, okay? This product is very pricey and um, it just stopped working. So now um, I, I'm trying to use it up just in replacement of like my oils on my hair. So yeah. Um, Hopefully this is gone soon, but I would not repurchase. And my very last product of this video is from Curls Dynasty. And it is the Pumpkin Mint Deep Treatment Deep Conditioning Mask. Girl, these names. I'm triggered. So um, I got this from Target. You guys know that um, I can't go to Target without buying a hair product at this point. Um, so I got this mask. They had it on display and with a, the rest of their other products and I actually bought four I bought the um their whipped hair butter the Kalahari leave-in and the twisted definition and all of those you know are okay they're still not my favorite products but they're okay and they're black owned so I was like let me just go ahead and support throw some coin to them and you know see what we can do make a little something shake this mask Mm -mm. um not at all it claims to be like a protein and moisture mask and this is mm -mm. not it for me at all i've only used it twice so i have you know plenty more to go it does smell good but this just isn't a good mask for me i i don't know i just don't think the moisture is there i do feel the protein but the moisture just isn't there for me and i don't I have other protein moisture masks that do both and that I like better. So will I use it up? Absolutely. Do I like it? Mm -mm. And I actually saw that Ashkin Curls posted a video and she said that she wasn't a fan of it either. Now, her hair is very long and very thick and she ended up using a whole container and one use girl where I'm, you know, striving to get there, but I'm not there yet. So yeah definitely wouldn't repurchase that okay you guys so definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notification so that every time i post a video you know when i upload okay that's what we like to see so yeah y'all definitely um let me know if you have any video requests or if you've used any of these products let me know i love you guys so much and i can't wait to see you in my next video bye